Today's just my lucky day. How long have you been practicing law? What time is it? It's 12.22 a.m. About seven hours. Daredevil. A show most people would agree is probably better than anything Marvel's put out on Disney+. Plus. A show so good, in fact, that they're actually trying to bring it back. I think most of us could agree that it's probably one of the best things Marvel has ever done. Ta Psych. We're talking about the Daredevil 2003 movie with Ben Affleck. Oh, gotcha. No, you didn't. Now look, okay, if you read the title, then you would already know that we were talking about this, but if you consume this sort of content like Matt Murdock and you only listen to it, then you probably thought we were about to talk about something really awesome, so sorry. Wait, is this not good? I thought this was good. To be fair, I haven't watched this movie in quite a long time, so I guess I'm gonna find out. But no, Matt, actually, I just wanted to ask you. So. The other day, I was sifting through some of the Bantha Fodder archives, and I came yeah. across in the first Blade video that we did that apparently you've seen this one. I have. I don't remember it because I was about five. <laughs> it was on. I was like, ooh, what's this? And then I got swiftly taken out of the room when it started getting violent. <laughs> I watched this movie after it came out on home release, and I remember being shown it and nobody having an issue with it, and me just thinking, okay, this is a bit too violent. Excuse me, Papa, this is a bit inappropriate for someone of my age. So yeah, anyway, Daredevil, I mean, probably safe to say it's probably not as beloved as some of the other things we've, uh, we've talked about. Out of all the ones we've talked about, it seems to be the one that's just sort of been left to die a little bit you know okay we're, we're on the fifth movie now then matt how are you yeah. doing i'm doing fine i don't how many have i like i like spider-man so far out of the four we've talked about you've given two negative reviews Blade two was kind of okay leaning towards good oh, yeah and Spider-Man you liked, so... Half and half. Let's yeah. see where this one falls. I'm optimistic because it's not been very well remembered or seems to be very well loved. The contrarian in me might love it. We'll see if this one actually tips the scale towards good or bad. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yes, let's head over to the Bantha Fodder screening room. <laughs> this font is so strange. I don't like this font. <laughs> We're already off to a bad start, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that looks awful. Oh, <laughs> I was expecting that to be like another that... studio. You know, it's like studio logos you get. And you, you can't yeah. tell if the movie's actually started or not. Oh, come on. Oh, it's Braille. Because <laughs> it's yeah. blind. Fuck's sake. <laughs> god, this is a dull intro, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is this like a starting at the yeah, end? Yeah, I think this is like a flash forward or something. I understand that it's effective, but I do not enjoy when things show you the ending at the beginning to then get back to the ending. It's not a trope I enjoy. It depends what sort of movie it is and how they incorporate it, but somehow yeah. I feel like it's not going to work in this. <laughs> is that like a bleeding church? No, it's Matt Murdock hugging a cross. <laughs> is that meant to look cool? <laughs> they say your whole life flashes before your eyes when you die. And it's true. Even for a blind man. <laughs> oh, first line of dialogue, everyone. Oh my god, his dad's a crook. Let's hope he doesn't run into a random acid chemical thing from a truck to make him blind. Why is he just here? <laughs> that what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did he run into like a bio? -waste yeah, well, why? Thing? Why did he expect to find his dad there? I thought he was a professional I... boxer, not a fucking chemical engineer or whatever. <laughs> Did they just imply that getting hit with the acid is what instantly gave him power? I thought that was cultivated over a certain amount of time, but this is implying that he instantly was super. Yeah, well, in fact, it's doing more than imply that. It's showing us that. Yeah, well, I guess this film just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I genuinely don't know the original origins of Daredevil, so I don't know if he was instantly superpowered or if it was training. Mm. I'd like to think it was training because that actually makes sense, yeah. whereas this is just. But no, he can instantly hear everything. Yeah. Yeah, that, it, that's, it's okay. You be the sad person and I have to comfort you after I'm the one who's been blinded. What is this music? Oh, yes. <laughs> Early 2000s <laughs> song. <laughs> okay, so now it's just turned into a music video straight up. Yeah. So you can just see is how they're doing this. Yeah, which is... He just sees in blue. <laughs> which is a bit lame. <laughs> 
<laughs> Being blind doesn't mean you can instantly be a boxer. Yeah, again, where's Stick? Where the fuck is Stick? Oh, hello, Stan. Stan Lee! Stan Lee! Comic book mastermind Stan Lee has entered Chef Ramsay's lair. Why are you back in this alleyway? And why are you picking on a blind kid? Are you really that one dimensional? <laughs> yeah. I dare you. Oh, I dare you because you're dead. I hate this film already. <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> Where did he learn how to do that? <laughs> You're just taking it. He's what like... taught him how to do flips? They're all my fighters. Just like you. And now it's your turn to take a fall. Right, okay, so they're establishing here that Jack Murdoch is in cahoots with the Kingpin. He's asking him to throw the fight and whatever. Okay, but in Spider-Man, we also saw Jack Murdock fighting Randy Savage. So, oh. my theory is, is he threw the fight that time against Randy Savage in the last film. I reckon he ripped him off in Spider-Man. And now he's going to be like, no, I'm not going to throw the fight. So that leads uh. me to think that Randy Savage also works for the Kingpin. That's my theory and I'm sticking uh. to it. And then, by extension, WWE is under the Kingpin's jurisdiction or something. The amount of lawsuits that have gone against Vince McMahon in recent times would indicate you are right. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's a rose. <laughs> Why did he... What a random okay. calling card. Is um, that from the comics? Rose. Yeah, is that from I the have comics? No, no idea. Oh, okay, so we now have the Bruce Wayne sitting beside Yeah, this is dead. just... This is just Batman. <laughs> this is just Batman. If Guns N' Roses were new metal, I reckon this would be it. Fucking nothing has happened, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Why? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I genuinely thought we cut to a woman having an orgasm then, but it was him for trying to be dead. <laughs> he's in the back to tank! And he's no longer blind. Roll credits. <laughs> Justice is blind. Justice is okay. blind, right? I don't care what anyone says. Okay. Before this movie was even greenlit, that was the first line that was written. Matt Murdock yeah. stands in the court and says, Justice is blind, because could you be any more predictable? Thank God he has that power as well. We would never be able to guess <laughs> that this guy is guilty. He doesn't look, He doesn't seem sketchy at all, yeah. does he? Now, you know, John Favreau is playing Foggy Nelson in this. What? This has got as many sound effects as Hell's Kitchen does. So exactly, it's kind of fitting in a way. Wait, what? Oh why my is he, why god. Why jumped off a bill? He doesn't have. <laughs> wait, what? He's just killed himself, basically. <laughs> yeah. How's he. He's dead. He just broke all of his. He broke both his legs yeah. twice. His heart right. gave out as well from falling from There's such a big th height. Yeah. Yeah. Third leg is gone. And his other. He's broken his legs four times. Yep. Oh, and here we go again. <laughs> what? Oh, he just he just ripped his um, pectoral off from grabbing that. Oh my god, he's gonna leave to get cut in half. That light, the end of the tunnel. The sound of your inevitability, Mr. Good. Anderson. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he totally <laughs> just did that. He left them to get cut in half. I thought he just sort of like knocked people out and shit. I didn't know he would allow them to be bisected. I definitely thought he had like, he had like a no death policy going on, a bit like Batman. But then I guess Ben Affleck Batman did kill as well, so I guess <laughs> they have that in common. Maybe it's just what Ben Affleck yeah. wants. Maybe he goes into these films, he's like, right, here's the deal. I'll play the superhero as long as I can yes. kill. I've set my laser from stun to kill. Okay, so we got we got like a pro <laughs> ripoff scene as well. So after he let this man get sliced in half, he quickly got some gasoline and drew his logo. Yep. And then left. Yep. Not only has he murdered someone, he's also like, I want to make sure they know that I murdered him. He's almost a serial killer, but he's like Dexter. Have you ever yeah. seen Dexter? He like kills, he kills people that get away with horrific crimes, but he doesn't, he still admits he's a serial killer. He's almost like that at the Good moment. Matt, it's Heather. Are you there? You want to say that line again? That's the flattest <laughs> line we've ever heard. <laughs> They might as well have got a text to voice thing to give this. <laughs> yeah. And get your name. I didn't give it. Hey, some people have no compassion for the handicap. Well, because she didn't want. Apparently not. Being handicapped doesn't mean you can be a fucking creep, you dick. You, you must date me now, because I am blind. So yes. I see. I can see you for who you truly are. Oh, he's still what fucking stalking her. Okay, lady, I know he's harassing you, but you are now literally fighting a blind man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This, this doesn't look good. <laughs> this is not going well for either of you. Do you not want to protect your secret identity, Matt, by not having a fucking kung fu fight in the middle of the playground? What oh, is God. going on? 
Why are you looking at her? You're blind. Does he do this with every girl he tries to pick up? Yeah, he's not used to them actually fighting back. Yeah, he's not. He just kicking the shit out of them. And then when he's done with them, he like rips them in two and goes, that was great. Oh, um, why? This is <laughs> this entire thing is a music video. Why are you standing like that? Is this Kingpin? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kingpin. What is it? It's not like And ponder the question. What if? I just can't. Get me bullseye. The first shot we get is a fucking dartboard. I'm getting a bullseye. <laughs> he just didn't get any points for yeah. that last shot. He didn't hit the board. Just wanna. And he also hit the. He also didn't hit the one that can get him the highest points either. So he's not playing very well. Well, no, he should no. Be trying but to but hit he's bullseye. Points, he can only but, hit okay. bullseyes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's actually really bad at darts because he can only hit the bullseye. So he always loses to someone who can just hit triple twenty. <laughs> <laughs> In case you even more didn't get it, we still do not have a plot that I can discern. Things are just happening. What is the plot? Matt is wanting to date Electra. Kingpin is, is there. <laughs> Kingpin's there and Bullseye is heading over for some reason. You just killed her. You couldn't hear her anyway. Yeah, what was the point in that? Go on. Cut his head off. I'm not the bad guy, kid. Yes, you are. You are. Look at this. I can't. So I can't fucking look at it. <laughs> <laughs> what an insensitive thing to say. She doesn't know he's got superpowers. <laughs> look at this. Why do all the 2000s films have to have pouring rain scenes where the female lead can get soaking wet? Yes, this is what people will be talking about in 20 years' time, not the upside down kiss with Spider Man. Yeah, the blind kiss. What's wrong? Stay. Oh, so he didn't actually go. <laughs> he just let somebody die. <laughs> just, oh, superhero, everyone. <laughs> I serve justice at night unless I can get some good pussy. Are we actually getting a sex scene? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen is only safe when Daredevil <laughs> doesn't have a woman. Yeah, exactly. But he's not putting his end away. Uh, how long do you reckon that guy's been dead? Do you reckon it was after he came or beforehand? Well, was it was it actually worth it in the end or we'll never know. We only handle clients who are innocent. Oh yeah, right. If every lawyer only represented people who are innocent, none of them would be in business. You go to law school and it's like you get presented with two options before you start. It's like, do you want to represent the innocent or the guilty? Yes. <laughs> and whichever one you select is the only one you can ever do. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then if your person turns out to be guilty, you're then no longer being a lawyer. I can't tell who I like more. This Electra or the one in the show, because they both yeah, are very shit. good. <laughs> yeah. The Electra arc in season two completely tanks that season for me. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, oh wait, he's doing the Christ stance. Yeah. More religion, guys. <gasps> <You missed. laughs> no one before you has learned how to move when a projectile is flying at them. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. We have just we have started watching the flash on CW. 
Wait, what? It, that, it's a, it's, it's, not, a blunt... it's, it's It's a blunt object. It wouldn't pierce. She knows he didn't kill him, though. She literally what? watched the other guy throw it. Well, she was on the ground, so she didn't quite see it, Matt. Look, these, these writers are trying, okay? Just give them a chance, okay? This is the world where a blunt object can pierce through multiple layers of clothing, bone, skin, organs. Just from the throw of one man. At least have it, like, bring on a heart attack or something. Not fucking yeah. pierce through and kill him that way. There's all the budget on the florist. Is it about to go really poppy? Oh, yeah. There it is. Pretty really somber and... It will morph into evanescence at some point. <laughs> so they, so anyone that goes to a murder site and they see a rose, the kingpin just walks around with a rose in his pocket. Yes. But no one can figure out who's doing the murders. Revenge won't make the pain go away. Trust me. I know. I, I went through your father dying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's raining oh, again. Right on cue. Well done, Mother Nature. <gasps> she put up an umbrella! That means she's done with him. Can you oh, imagine that? Yeah. Oh yeah, well, what's up? Are we over? Do you not want me to see you? It's like, no, I just don't want to get wet. Yeah. You fucking self-absorbed arsehole. Actually, I think this is Evanescence, actually. Yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well done. Kevin Smith! Kevin what? Smith. What's he doing in this? Also, is this like the only comic book role he's ever gotten? I have no idea. If that's the case, that's really upsetting because I know how much of a fan he is. The devil is mine. Why? Why do you care? Yeah, this has been really built up, hasn't it? This rivalry between Bullseye and Daredevil. Yeah, is it because he dodged one oh. thing that he threw at him? Yeah, he made him miss. They, 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 those are the entire stakes of this film. Fear. Daredevil made him miss, so therefore he's out for blood. That is our story, people. That is our plot. Oh my god! <laughs> They're not actually doing this. Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> this, is, this is all bad. <laughs> <laughs> who said the bad who's, topping, who's topping those out? <laughs> right, let's go. Wake, wake me, me up. up. I can't, can't wake, wake up. up. It really says something that this song is far more popular than the movie it appeared in. This is like the like final like montage before the climax. There's nothing pre-building to the climax. That still doesn't prove that he didn't do it though, if she still yeah. thinks that just because he she now knows who was under the mask doesn't completely change her worldview. Exactly. Yeah. I've been done with this film so many times, honestly. I think I was done with it about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this? This is so just like mean spirited, but it's really goofy at the same time. So I just kind of feel uncomfortable. <laughs> you know? Don't worry. Here comes our main protagonist to save the damsel in distress, despite yeah. the fact she just killed him. Ah, he killed her. So a blunt object can pierce clothing, but a fucking sword can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the other issue I have is they're, they're treating this like a reveal, like, oh, it was the kingpin all along that killed your father. <laughs> yeah. When we've seen in the entire yeah. movie that he's been leaving roses. So unless you're an idiot, the audience is going to know that already, deeming this entire yeah. thing completely ineffective. Bullseye. <laughs> no. 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 You don't get to say that. And there goes Daredevil jumping a similar distance, but not dying. So you know what it took them three seasons to do in the show? Yep. We're now doing in five minutes. <laughs> I love how from a screenwriting perspective as well, they've perfectly just set it up to be a one-on-one. -on -one. You sent all the guards out of the building so that it can't be interrupted by any henchmen. It's literally just a video game boss. I'm thinking about that moment in Daredevil where he screams at him, I was the one who beat you or something, and just how powerful that is. I've never seen a final fight scene so undeserved. And I watch Rise of Skywalker. You killed the only two people I ever loved. <laughs> <laughs> My dad and the one woman I slept with. Is that the only relationship you've ever had? <laughs> He's never had a girlfriend before Electra. Oh yeah, that's right, because he beat the rest of them up, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fucking message of this film is vengeance is bad. Yeah. And the conclusion is, look how great vengeance is. <laughs> what is going what, what is going on with all this grain? I'm not 
the bad guy. We got payoff for that one scene <laughs> earlier. Oh, it all makes sense now. It, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm happy to cut a rapist in half. That's fine. Which is fine, to be fair. But taking out mm. the kingpin of the whole fucking city, that's uh, not okay. The one who facilitates the rapist, we leave him alive. Am I meant to be feeling something at the moment? I feel like the score's telling me that I should. I'm surprised it's not rock music. It's the first orchestral piece we've had. Go get him, Matt. Oh, he's gonna do Mary Jane. Go get him, Tiger. Oh no, here comes the rock. And now he's gonna die. <laughs> a guardian devil. Yeah! Fuck everything about that. Oh my god, Matt, they're setting up a sequel. Mm, I fucking hope not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be it. That has to be. Fucking hell. So yeah, that was Daredevil, and um, yeah, uh, this uh, this movie it's uh, it's not very good, and um, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, Mac, take it away. I don't feel like I watched a movie. <laughs> I feel like I watched a series of really bad music videos connected by something resembling a character that went through no arc. <laughs> Things just happened and they made no sense when they were happening. They tried to do payoff without, oh, just, uh, it's melting my brain to even try talk about it. It's that disastrously bad. So first up, he was blind. He was blinded by acid, but that acid also made him instantly have superpowers. So is that the super soldier serum in this world? <laughs> that acid going into your eyes can create a super... A, literally a superhuman. Why is this not being exploited by the governments of the world, you know? How has this not been discovered yet? But I don't know if there's even any point in pointing out all of the logical inconsistencies, the badly thought through themes and ideas at all, because they're just so painfully bad that you don't even need to explain it. It's just painfully bad from start to front, back to top, all the way around. It's just, I fucking hated that. <laughs> I've actively angry at it. Well, yeah, so all the on the surface issues aside, if I really try and think about where this movie really just sort of missed the mark, besides all the obvious stuff, besides all the, the horrible setup with attempted payoff, which just fell completely flat on his face, like Matt Murdock should have done, jumping off all those buildings. <laughs> when I really look at this as a film, it's painfully obvious to me that this was literally just trying to take everything that worked from other popular comic book movies just trying to put them into this and just expecting it to pay off in the same ways that those did. I'll explain. We have like the Batman orphan in the alley <laughs> scene. We have all these like dark cityscapes as well with like the camera going through it and also like flame calling car that we had in The Crow as well. Yeah. The superhero kissing his love interest in the rain <laughs> like we did in Spider-Man. <laughs> we have all this tight leather like in X-Men. It's it's like these writers just watched all those movies and thought, oh, well, that's the reason why that was good. Apart from like surface level imagery, which reminds you that you're watching a comic book movie. It really has nothing else to offer. Yeah, this was not a bullseye, guys. This was away from the board into somebody's fucking eye. I mean, if I'm really gonna grab at straws, I found Colin Farrell as bullseye. He was funny, at least. His entire character hinged on the fact that he missed someone because they moved a bit when he threw something at them. And then Electra's character hinged on the fact that she couldn't fucking see that it wasn't Daredevil that threw the thing at her dad and then hinged yeah. on the fact that she quite liked Daredevil when she found out it was actually Matt. Yeah, and apparently that completely bypasses anything that she thought she might have seen because, oh yeah, it's like cute guy from the roof. And then Daredevil's character arc hinges on the fact that a child at some point was a bit freaked out that he had come there and hit someone. I'm gonna give Daredevil a 3.2, wow. which is lower than I thought I was gonna give it. I thought there would at least be <laughs> something to where I could kind of latch onto and think, okay, that was that was kind of fun, or, you know, just, just something. Fucking one. Not just a one, a oh, fucking shit. one out of 10. Actually, no, I give it a 0 0.5 out of 10. The worst thing we've watched on this channel. I'm optimistic because it's not been very well remembered or seems to be very well loved. The contrarian in me might love it. 
maybe worst superhero film of all time. It's worse than She-Hulk. We thought that Daredevil was badly represented in She-Hulk. Have they not fucking watched this? Mm. Which one's next? I don't know what's next. What's next? So the next movie on pre-MCU Marvel is X-Men 2. Oh. We were banned the fodder. This was Daredevil. Bye-bye and go fuck yourself, Daredevil. Fucking hate you, Daredevil. <laughs> you ruined me. Oh, fuck it. So angry. <laughs> I've never been this genuinely upset about a fucking movie. That was worse than Book of Boba Fett. I'd rather watch Rise of Skywalker. Oh my god. Is this video over?